here's an exciting variety of fruit that I actually took part in naming. Uh, this is the Splash Pluot. And um, uh, back when I was a part of the Dave Wilson nursery team, uh, this was pointed out to me by a commercial salesman uh, named Javier Camareno. Um, and he said, Ed, you know, this is not a commercial variety. This is a variety you're going to love. Well, I'll tell you what, I found this at a farmer's market. So, in fact, it is a, f a commercial variety. Um, we named it Splash simply because the color stood out so much when we looked down a nursery row we could see the tree in the middle of the nursery row among 50 trees in in the row because of all this beautiful reds and yellows and oranges and so my first impression of uh, splash was this is like the sweetest thompson seedless grape i've ever eaten uh, that was really exciting i was eating it when it was uh, moderately um, ripe so it was on the uh, softer side um, it was absolutely splendid i i fell in love with it right away and the entire dave wilson nursery team fell in love with it right away at that time so aside from seeing the uh, this great variety in the uh, commercial farmers markets now which uh, really excited me um, I'm also reading that uh, it's setting well in zones like 8a and 8b that may very well make it uh, a good candidate to be trialed in uh, areas like uh, 7a 7b um, say around the Boise Idaho area where pluots tend to not set well this may very well be one of those varieties that uh, would be good to test in those areas this is an exciting variety good size you know, you don't have to get full on eating a giant piece of fruit. You can have a couple of these and right out of the refrigerator. Hmm, can't beat it. <laughs> hmm, pretty juicy. Pretty juicy. Splash Pluot. This is a winner.